welcome so today in this video we are going to discuss how to implement xnor using 2 is to 1 max so how i can implement xnor gate using the 2 is to 1 max okay so first i will uh, simplify the expression for xnor so uh, what uh, so we will be knowing generally xor equation so a bar into b plus a b bar is the xor equation so if i take the complement of xor i will be getting xnor right so i have written a bar on the top of xor equation so a bar into b plus a b bar is the xor equation right so if i take complement of xor i will be getting xnor so whole complement so that's why i have written y equal to a bar into b plus a b bar whole complement so i can write with the help of de morgan's equation a bar into b so split this one and plus will become uh, into here and the, there will be a double bar okay so uh, a, uh, a bar into b i can write a bar plus b so again split this one so multiplication i can write, write in the form of addition here okay so same for the uh, second term also so a double bar will be a and plus b bar a bar plus b so multiply both the terms here so we'll be getting this one so now what will happen so uh, a b will be here and a bar b bar so b into b bar is 0 and a into a bar will be 0 okay so finally i will be left with a b plus a bar b bar so this is the equation for output equation for x nor gate okay so now if you are if you are knowing this equation you can directly use and if you don't know but you know the xor equation then with the help of this method you can derive the equation for the xnor if you know xor okay so just for uh, sake of understanding i explained this one so if you know uh, then you can use directly this equation no need to write all these things okay so it will be having two inputs a and b and output a b into a bar b bar okay so whenever the input is 0 0 the output will be 1 and whenever the input is 0 and 1 the output is 0 so this is the opposite of xor so whenever the one of input is 1 uh, so whenever the inputs are same the output will be high and when the inputs are dissimilar the output will be 0 so as i have said earlier also if you want to implement any gate using the 2 is to 1 max first you should write the output equation for 2 is to 1 max so i have done the same thing here so i have considered the output equation of 2 is to 1 max so that will be s naught bar into i naught plus s naught into i1 okay so i need to convert this equation in the form of this equation because i am implementing x naught gate so what i will do i will select one of the input as a select line so i have selected a as the select line okay so put i naught equal to b bar and i1 equal to b so if i substitute these three values in the above equation i will be getting a bar into b bar plus a into b directly okay so but the question arises here uh, how to uh, do this approximation so i mean how i should know that i i have to do these approximations only so for that i have to refer the truth table okay so here observe whenever there are two parts again whenever a is equal to 0 and a equal to 1 whenever a is 0 the output is complement of b so output is here the b is 0 the output is 1 b is 1 the output is 0 so that's why i will connect so this will be i naught and i1 internally when a is equal to 0 it will select i naught i naught is what b bar whenever a is equal to 0 it the output will be b bar so output will be b is complement so output will be 1 whenever a is equal to 0 when the b's value is 1 the output will be 0 because b's complement will be 0 so first part we have implemented in second part observe that the uh, whenever a is 1 the output is following the b so it is not complement here it is following b so if b is 0 the output will be 0 if b is 1 the output will be 1 so uh, it is easy so i will directly connect for i1 pin the b value so whenever a is equal to 1 it will select i1 so for i1 b is connected so whenever a is equal to 1 it will select b so what is b b is 0 so output will be 0 whenever a is equal to 1 it will select i1 so what is i1 value here 1 so output will be 1 so the uh, xnor gate can be implemented easily with the help of 2 is to 1 max 
by putting b bar and d so in x or so it will be opposite d and b bar so here b bar and d so as i said earlier also so we can't use any gate so to get the b bar value here i have to use another mux that is not mux to get the b bar value so i have done the same thing so this is not the final answer this is final answer so here i will be using d and first i not is given as 1 and i1 is given 0 so whenever i give b here so i will be getting b bar as the output so like this so this is the same circuit i have written here b bar and d is the input a is the select line and y is the output to get the b bar here i have implement this not gate so this is basically acting as a not gate here so how to implement this not gate i have discussed in my previous videos so if you have not seen the videos please guys check it is a beautiful video where you can completely understand how to implement not gate so this is how with the help of two two is to one muxes you can implement easily a x not gate so not only x not with the help of two is to one mux you can implement any gate any function any combinational circuit so this is the power of two is to one mux you can use any where you can or anywhere possible okay so if you found it useful please guys hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more updates thank you thanks for watching